Falls and Whiskers is not necessarily one of Jacqueline Wilson's most well-known books, but certainly it's one of the most important because this is an anthology of short stories written by various writers and the money goes to Batty Dogs and Cats Home, which of course is a fantastic charity and any charity that supports animals and cares for animals is a, is a win in my book. Um, Paws and Whiskers was actually out in 2014 and you'll see from the cover art that Jacqueline Wilson's name is in big letters. These short stories were selected by her for this anthology and of course the illustration is by Nick Sherratt. So it very much feels like a Jacqueline Wilson book but the stories in this are actually from other very well-known writers as well which um, gives a really good mix of voices, of tones, the styles of the narratives in each of them are all very different which is a great way for particularly younger readers, to sample different writing styles. Maybe they only read a few, a select few authors. Certainly when I was growing up, I did obviously read quite a wide range of authors, but it was Jacqueline Wilson to whom I always gravitated. And this kind of thing would open up the reader to different styles, different tones, even different subgenres in a way. And that's something that I think is pretty fantastic. It's also quite a chunky book. I haven't got the page count, but it's, you know, it's a decent size. And if you head to the Wikipedia page, you will see why that is. There is a pretty lengthy amount of short stories in this one. They're not all very long stories. They're not all page after page after page. Some of them are quite short. Um, I won't read out the full list, but just to give you a flavour of the kind of stories in this, all of which are, of course, based around animal characters, we have Rudyard Kipling, the cat that walked by himself, Anne finds the diary of a killer cat, which was very popular when I was growing up, uh, Philippa Pierce, a dog so small, The 101 Dalmatians by Dory Smith, Born to Run from Michael Mopurgo, Extracts from David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. And of course there's some Enid Blyton in this. Of course there is uh, Shadow the Sheepdog. And it's a fantastic way... Oh, and also The Wear Puppy by Jacqueline Wilson, obviously. Um, it's a fantastic way at showing readers how to write about animals in different ways, from different perspectives, with different narrative voices. If you like animals and you like reading about animals, this is a fantastic way to get a lot for your money. There's also a, a pets corner section where famous writers talk about their own pets, which I think is um, pretty interesting. And, you know, it gives a, a really interesting look at the writers themselves. Growing up, I always loved reading first person narrative from writers. I never really read autobiographies that much. But then aside from Jacqueline Wilson's, actually, there are not that many autobiographies or memoirs aimed at children. Historical ones, yes, but I feel like more children's writers could write autobiographies aimed at their target audience to provide more of an insight into the life of a writer, whether or not it's a stereotypical life. It doesn't really matter, but I liked that aspect. I thought it was a little bit something else and gave it, um, you know, just a little bit extra flavour. Obviously, a lot of the animals in this are cats and dogs because the money's going to to Battersea but either way it's, it's absolutely beautiful I thought it was a joy to read and regardless of whether you're a Jacqueline Wilson fan or not I think you'll really thoroughly enjoy it obviously it's being marketed at Jacqueline Wilson fans but if you just like reading obviously I'm not the target audience anymore I wouldn't have paid this any attention if I was not a Jacqueline Wilson fan. This was released, as I said, in 2014, at which point I was, quick maths, 22. Uh, actually, I would have been 21 because it was released two weeks before my birthday. This is not, I'm the do not the target audience. It, if it had a different author's name plastered on the front, it wouldn't have been on my radar. So I'm glad that Jacqueline Wilson's name was being used to push this because it certainly came to my attention. Really liked it, an absolute joy to read, a great mix of stories and narratives. If it sounds like your kind of thing, definitely give it a go. I think you will really like it.